Welcome to Deerhaven in Union, South Carolina for round one of the 2022 Mideast Hair Scramble Micro Quad season. The track conditions this year are miles better than the muddy mess we've had for the last two years. We're looking at two miles of dry, dusty woods and open fields on a lovely warm day. There was a little bit of rain earlier in the week leaving some muddy traps out there as well as two creek crossings. Plenty of options and routes to choose from leading out into the long open field to return to the finish. Last year's champion Ryder Money has moved his way up to the intermediate stock 8 to 13 in the youth quad race, leaving Caleb McGaby and Trey Luckadoo, the second and third overall racers from last year, as the biggest contenders going into the 2022 season. Josiah Wimbish is here coming in as an underdog from last year. Only participating in three races, he did take first overall at Wellborn Farms and Pea Ridge. Maddox Wellborn, having swept Junior Micro 5 to 7 in 2021, is expected to be a top rider as well. In the Micro 4-8 to eight division, our top three riders are Justin Collins, Charlie Kraft, and Nathan Honderellis, all returning this year. Justin Collins having taken Deerhaven's win last year. Front row in the Micro 11 is stacked with 15 riders looking for a tight launch, all battling it out for the whole shot. Starting off, Wesley Stanley blazed out of the gate, taking the whole shot and submitting an early lead, followed closely by Caleb McAvey and Trey Luckadoo. Entering the woods in the third corner, there was a large pileup collecting Josiah Wimbish and Mattis Wellborn, pushing them back down to 9th and 10th. Micro 4-8 to eight started off strong with Justin Collins taking the whole shot with Nathan Honderellis in tow right behind him. Honderellis then made a pass on the first lap, taking the lead with Justin Collins only behind by 13 seconds. An unexpected third place came to Kira Moni, who remained close behind Collins and Honderellis. Charlie Kraft was unfortunately into the woods second to last due to some startup issues at the line, which would result in them being fifth in class at the end of the first lap. Wesley Stanley maintained his lead solidly with five minute lap times keeping the rest of the field at bay, including Caleb McGaby who took a big hit on the second lap, pushing him over a full minute behind the leader. Caleb held his position from a closely following Trey Lookadoo until lap four, where Josiah Wimbish was on a wild rampage from the holdup at the start. He would fight his way back up from ninth place through Lookadoo, McGaby, and five other riders to take second and a possible podium spot from Lookadoo. Maddox Wellborn unfortunately struggled to regain his many positions and remained towards the back of the pack. In Micro 4-8, Nathan Honderellis held his lead, pulling away from Justin Collins and Kira Moni. Charlie Kraft continued to remain near the middle of the pack. Rounding out six laps of hard riding, your whole shot winner Wesley Stanley would bring the end to the checkered flag for the overall win. But not after separating himself from second place Josiah Wimbish and third place Caleb McGaby by over three minutes. Wimbish and McGaby would be in close condition fighting only 24 seconds apart at the end. 
Trey Lukadu did lose his podium spot and fell several places, finishing out in 6th place, closely losing out to 4th place Logan Morris and 5th place Kadenitz Ellis. Maddox Wellborn had a rough day coming in at 11th place after some intense battles with Brady Collins, Reese Bonner, and Noah Patterson. In Micro 4-8, to eight, Dathan Honderellis would go on to solidify his lead for the four laps over Justin Collins, who was behind by only 55 seconds. Collins and Kiaramone would be the only two to finish on the lead lap. Charlie Kraft pushed up into fourth place before the finish, but at six minutes behind was lapped by the class leaders, only completing three laps. Honderellis showed some tough spirit out there, maybe a little too tough. At the last second, he fought for an extra position in the overall, resulting in a finish line accident involving Micro 11 rider Mallory Lindler. No one was seriously hurt in the incident. Here are today's results. The green flag will fly again in two weeks and we'll see you at Harris Bridge. Thank you for watching.